Hi everyone, I'm TSM Merc and I play Entry for TSM's Rainbow Six team. This is my guide on how to play Ash. So if you want to learn how to play Ash like a major champion, you're in the right place. Before we get started on this video, I need to talk about the recent changes with Ash's flashbangs. As you know, she has a claymore now. So when you do hear me in the video talking about, you know, burn these ADSs yourself, basically just have your teammate do it for you instead and just dash the shield, dash whatever you need to do, and just keep going on with your days, same as you would if she had flashbangs. Shout out to Logitech G for sponsoring this video. Canadian will have no choice but to come back to the bomb site, but he's punished by Merc as well. There's another for Merc! Three for him! Oh my god, no luggage. Oh my god! Let's go, Merc! Get up! Good, boy! I'm the Ash player for the team because I have like the most aggressive playstyle on the team so I'm not scared to like run into the building first and clear a room if we need it to be cleared. Also having a good amount of like gun skill helps in that situation with running Ash. That's been my main op for a really long time and I've tried to improve at it as much as I can compared to other players where they focus on other ops as well. So it just fits perfectly. My goal with Ash on the team is to just mainly entry the building first and uh, make sure that it's safe for the rest of the team to get past. What makes Ash really good is she's a three speed and she has a very high fire rate gun. Be able to clear quickly behind drones and be able to win the gunfights with a really powerful weapon. Some of Ash's weaknesses are like deployable shields. If you don't have the utility to clear them, it kind of is very hard to get past it along with like traps like legion mines and ellas where it slows you down because ash's main good thing is being fast if ash isn't available another entry op that would be good is like iq zofia sledge um even you know thatcher and i mentioned thatcher because you can just throw your emps while you're clearing and play her like ash if you need to ash is really good on maps that are close quarters and you can clear rooms very fast. My favorite map personally with Ash is Cafe. I just love how quickly you can clear through the lanes of Cafe and be able to have a lot of control of everything that you need. On maps like Consulate, Clubhouse, I don't think she's really too good. I'd say Ash's weakness is like maps where you need to bring two breachers and a thatcher. Close quarter maps are really strong with Ash and then like the bigger ones where you need two breachers are her weak points. I think operators that counter Ash are like once again like trap operators like Legion, Ella, and Vigil is a good counter to Ash because um, if you're being droned in and your droner can't call where that person is because he's vigiled on the scanner, uh, you either have to wait or just take the fight blind and that kind of messes you up a little bit on Ash. Um, operators good with Ash are Soft Breach like Sledge, Sophia, Buck. Um, they're good with helping her clear things. Also like secondary hard breachers are nice with Ash because you can clear in front of them and then they can run in right behind you and open up whatever they need to. Also having someone to drone you is uh, really nice with Ash. My preferred gun choice for Ash is obviously the R4C. If you know Siege, you know that she has one of the best guns in the game. For pistols, I prefer the pistol with less bullets but more damage because if I do end up having to pull a pistol out, it's probably because I lit somebody up running out of ammo and I just want to get that one shot in that, you know, finishes them off. So we'll go ahead and go into this. Um, I prefer hollow over all the sites. Hollow just feels like more smooth and I don't know, it's just a preferred sight. I feel like Muscle Break has less recoil and your first bullet also doesn't have recoil either. So it kind of just makes sense to run Muzzle on Ash. Now that Ash has a Claymore, uh, you're going to want to run the Breaching Charge. I mean, you're not really ever watching Flank with Ash, so it's kind of useless. At least with the Breaching Charge, you can like help the team out and like open holes and stuff. If you're getting flanked a lot, like the Claymore's fine. You just want to have a teammate come like throw their flashbangs for you, just like as if you had flashbangs in the past. It's important when you're playing Ash to have like a light mouse because you're always moving quick. And with the super light that I'm using right now, it is um, a breeze just to be able to like take two, three different fights at once because it's so light, you're able to like move it and flick around super easy. So the start of the round, um, in the drone phase, I try to hide my drone so that nobody can find it, obviously. And then either um, at the beginning of the round, after the prep phase, I try to move it into position where it can be a helpful flank. 
or I either pick it up and use it if my droner ends up losing his drone. Something that I also do is kind of look out for traps, look out for people hiding. Shields you need to get rid of, you can look for ADS placements, look out for what operators they're bringing that can try to counter our push. Um, if we do need to burn a drone to find the site if necessary, that'll be mine because I'm the entry and kind of don't use your first drone as much as you do your second. But that's mainly it for the prep phase. Some of my tips and tricks for ash charges are using ash vertically is actually kind of good. It's a lot easier to clear things from above through sledge holes and through breaching charge holes rather than like peeking into doorways and peeking into windows. It definitely helps a lot when you're able to just vertically look down and ash charge on things. Um, you kind of want to save your breaching charges until your teammates are ready to act on them. You want to just clear things out using the least amount of utility possible so that you have breaching charges to you know clear things that need to be cleared. What you want to watch out for when you are using your breach charges people peeking you while you're you know, ashing a shield or ashing an evil eye. If they see you with it out, it could result in them peeking you and killing you with it. Try to minimize it. Try to have teammates hold your angles while you're burning and while you're breaching rounding, you know, evil eyes and oil shields, because it'll definitely eliminate a lot of that unnecessary deaths. There are some situations where you still will just get peeked and that is just rainbow. Some common things I see ash players make are they will just pull out their ash charge and shoot it at an evil eye without checking ADS, which is probably the most important thing to do with the Ash, you need to always make sure there's no ADS in the way of clearing things or else you just wasted one out of two of your really important gadgets for the team. Also a mistake with Ash is not using your utility on like roam clearing and things. I see a lot of people clearing out a lot of roamers. They're clearing out three to four people and they still have all of their utility in their pocket because they think it's important to save it for sight, which it is. But it's also important to try to get those free kills when you see them, so using your utility while you can is the most important thing. Another mistake I see people do is opening line of sights that can help the opponents out rather than help you out. So you want to make sure that you ask your team if it's okay if you open a wall, if they need your ass charges or anything else. If they don't need you, you know, you can use them to try to help yourself clear things, but make sure that you don't, you know, ash a wall that your planner is going to get shot from when they go for plant helps out just in the small things. Basically what makes a good entry player is being able to clear the utility that needs to be clear and then being able to get picks. It helps tremendously when you can take someone off the board very early because your droners are, you know, telling you, hey, there's a guy here and then you end up taking them out very early and it helps the team overall. If it's late round and you're still alive as an entry, things probably went well. You don't wanna just get ahead of yourself. You want to try to communicate when you're going to um, actually like push things and try to do things with your team. If you have to clear something, like if you have to run in first and make sure that the plant's going down, you will be that person because, you know, you survived your entry and now you can go do it in the late round as well. You don't have to run in. You don't have to die to get a kill late round. You can still hold flanks and like hold angles that will just get you a kill if they try pushing your planner. After a post plant situation, after you get the bomb down, you... 100% want to play your life. You want to get out, you want to hide, you want to do anything that you can to where they have to come to you now. No matter what the situation is, if the bomb gets planted, play your life. Don't peek until it's necessary to peek. Don't try to go for the kill unless you know it's safe. Because once that bomb is down, they have a certain amount of time to come defuse it. And if they don't do so without you shooting them, you know, they lose the round by default. So post plan situations, you want to just play your life and I'd, you know, do what you can to survive. We don't know. Merc's in the bomb site. One for thinking they'd Merc. Merc finds one. Chala gets one as well. TSM, they win it all. Every single kill is theirs, and they'll take the trophy as well. North America has a new champion. All right, guys. Um, hope the guide was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I am TSM Merc. You can follow me below. And once again, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.